We'll first discuss Rule 20, which covers permissive joinder of parties. We'll then talk briefly about Rule 18, which permits a party to assert basically all of its claims against another party. Next, we'll discuss the special rules governing counterclaims and cross-claims under Rule 13. One important point is worth noting before we begin. Do not confuse joinder with jurisdiction. The issue of whether joinder of claims or parties is proper under the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure is entirely separate from the issue of whether the court has subject matter or personal jurisdiction. Let's start with an example. Suppose the town of Stuperville holds a town hall meeting at the local high school. Jack, a prominent local attorney, is there, along with his paralegal Jill. The meeting is packed with people. Bruno goes to the podium to speak and says the following. Jack and Jill are the ringleaders in a local witch's coven comprised of all the lawyers, judges, and paralegals in Stuperville. Last Sunday night, they kidnapped me and tried to sacrifice me to the devil. They had me locked in a small dungeon underneath the courthouse for hours, where they beat me and tortured me. But I was able to escape just before the sacrificial ceremony was supposed to begin. This causes quite a stir. The first thing Jack and Jill want to do is to sue Bruno for defamation. And they aren't the only ones. Stuperville has one other lawyer and paralegal besides Jack and Jill, namely Esmeralda, who is a lawyer, and Boris, who is a paralegal. Even though Esmeralda and Boris weren't directly named in Bruno's statement, they felt that they were necessarily implicated because Bruno accused all the lawyers and paralegals in Stuperville of being part of this alleged coven. Assume that the state court in Stuperville, where the suit will be filed, has adopted civil procedure rules identical to the federal rules the would-be plaintiffs here need to figure out how they want to proceed against Bruno. Since they all want to sue Bruno for the same defamatory statement, they decide to sue him together in one lawsuit. The federal rules allow for this. Specifically, Federal Rule of Civil Procedure 20 provides for permissive joinder of parties. Rule 20A1 provides that persons may join in one action as plaintiffs if a. They assert any right to relief jointly, severally, or in the alternative with respect to or arising out of the same transaction, occurrence, or series of transactions or occurrences, and b. Any question of law or fact common to all plaintiffs will arise in the action. If a plaintiff or a defendant is improperly joined to the case, that is, joined in a manner that violates Rule 20's requirements, the court may sever claims as appropriate so that they will have to be brought in a separate lawsuit. 